The 1996 Africa Cup of Nations champions face a stern test to qualify for the 32nd edition of the Continental Football Showpiece in Cameroon. Bafana's first assignment of their qualifying campaign will be away to a team who have failed to qualify for the last two events and will be no pushovers. But Baxter is confident that his side will be well prepared. A lot of intelligence on uh, Nigeria. I've got the Manchester United scout, he's helping us in Paris. They're playing against Corsica. I've got f video footage, I've got the reports, I've got the, co the coach's background. So by the time we come to the, the event, then we will be quite well prepared. Baxter has picked a squad that he feels can do battle in testing conditions and sees the return of several overseas-based stars. And even though Nigeria in Nigeria is not a place for babies, this will be a, an event that uh, we want a few soldiers and we want a few warriors to, to show themselves. Still, we want to have an element of development because that's, that's conducive with what we've been talking about all the time. The 63-year-old is aware that the trip to Ujo for the match at the Godswill Akpabio Stadium next month will be a stern test for his charges and has set his team a target before kickoff. Qualifying for every major tournament that we play in must be the ambition of, of, of the South African national team. I don't want to be I don't want to be a national coach where we're not expected to do anything. It certainly is a litmus test for Stuart Baxter, but his record against the three-time AFCON champions is an impressive one as he's never tasted defeat to the Super Eagles. But he's under no illusions at the task at hand and knows that he's expected to return from Nigeria with three points in the bag. CS2 CGTN, Johannesburg.